will create a geo search application using Mapbox and Ruby on Rails. Mapbox provides powerful routes and engines, accurate traffic, power travel times, and intuitive turn by turn directions to help build engaging navigation systems. It also provides geo services. This is what we leverage to create our application. To begin, we first create our Rails application, which I've done here. Next, we will generate our scaffold known as places. So we'll run Rails generate scaffold. And we'll call it place. Places. And we want to get the latitude. We'll set this to decimal. Longitude decimal two and we want the name of the place that we'll be searching it should be string and do rails db migrate then we update our routes we simply set the root of our application to places We can run real sir. And that is what we want. So we have it here. I would like to use longitude and name. Our next step will be add to, so we to add the custom CSS and JavaScript for Mapbox. So we we'll go to our application html and erb file and our header we add our mapbox js and css mapbox also provides us with custom css to display well our map and our search bar so we'll add this to our application with css file we will also add our own css or just be pasted in just to make things a little bit clearer in our, in our page we've done that now next step we we'll go to our form and we have to update this a bit first we'll wrap this in the stimulus controller and we'll say div data controller and we'll call this map next Next, we will add our map target and our geo search target to, to our form page. And if we refresh, you see nothing happens because we have not initiated it in our stimulus controller. So, but before we do that, So we'll wrap this in a column. And once we've done that, once we've done that, we'll add our geo search bar right here. So let's close this off. Then we can go to our controller. We'll name this hello controller to map map controller and we don't need this here so we could do and connect console.log hello so let's try this out to see if it's connected you can see yeah it's connected so to display our map we have to initialize it and to do that First, we set our map, we set our access token. This is the key that we're given at Mapbox. To get this, we simply let's go to our account on Mapbox, and you can see our default token here. And this is where we paste paste there in our JavaScript file. You can set this in your environment variables, but for this tutorial, I'm just pasting it there. You can refresh the token and change it here if we, for any reason, we desire. 
So once we do that, then we set we set a um, new instance of map box to be equals to map. We target our map on the on our form page right here with this div ID here. This is where we're targeting. This is where the map will render. And we set our style to this. We can set the center of the map to our longitude and latitude. We can control the zoom. So once we do that and we save, and we check our page, you can see that the map, it renders. Our next step is to add geocode into the application. So to simply do that, we create a new instance of instance of Mapbox geocoder. We set this to geocoder. We set our access to obtain our Mapbox QL. We then get the geocoder by using by its, we get the element with ID of geocoder. That is this element right here. This is where our search bar will appear. And then we also want to append our new search results to the map. So once we do that and save, we can try it out. So once we do that, you can see our search bar right here. So if we just try something random, see our list appears. And once we do that, our map focuses, focuses on this area. You can try it again. Well, this is all very good and useful. We also want to get the latitude and longitude and the name so we can fill out this place and then submit it to our application. So to do that, go back to our application right here and we can do, do geocoder on results. And then when we get the results, we put this in our console. Let's try that and see. So if we search, you can see we're getting the results here. And if we expand this a bit, you can see we have the matching place name, the place name, place type, properties. And if we look here, we can see center. This gives us our longitude and our latitude. So now that we have the longitude and latitude, and we also have the place name, when the new search result is entered, we want to autofill this place. We want to autofill it with the longitude, the latitude, the longitude, and the name. So we go to our JS file and we do that. So we come here and we simply do document or get element by ID. This is on our form here. We set, um, set the, the ID by default, since we're using Rails, the URL generator will be place name, place longitude, place latitude, because our model name is place. And we simply set the results. As we see, we set our place name, our center zero, center one. So if we go back here, and we try it again, You do this and you can see everything is updated. You could do it again. And we have a new result. And then you can simply create place. We try to click it here, however, we see that our location is not where we want it to be. It's not our last loan location. So what we can do, we can change the center of this, our default center. If the latitude and longitude is already set, we set to the, pre, the already set value. If not, we set to this value right here. So we go ahead and we do that. 
So we could do if document to get an element by ID, I'll place that to if the length of this is equal to zero. That means it's empty. And we set it to this value. Else we get we set our center to this value. Else our center we get the value of place longitude and the value of place latitude. Then we come here and we change this to center. So So that is nice. You can see this is our place right here, our Thai ice cream. So if we update this again, let's say Michigan, United States. And you click on update and click on the displays again. You see, we're back in Michigan, and then though you could change the zoom a bit, but I think that does it all for this application on GS search application. You can see, Mapbox provides everything for us to make this easy. And it's very simple to integrate in Rails.